Hunter. So, Knobs, I don't know if you guys have recognized this yet. This school is pretty hard. Having to wake up Monday and Thursday at 5.20 for PT sessions. And me now, I have to wake up four times a week for 5.20 PT sessions. Whether it's shining your shoes and your brass, and they never look good enough, right? Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> Can I get an amen? amen? Right? Or this Saturday, we're having an SMI, which unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to attend. I have to take this thing called a 48-hour pass, which if you guys get good grades, you can too. All right? So despite all of this, there's always that one place you can go, the one place you can relax, the one place you can vibe with your classmates, and some quality gray A food. I'm talking about Coward Hall. Right? Great A food? No, not right. There's one thing about Coward Hall, though, and something's always happening. You never really know when you step into those doors. It's a place shrouded in mystery. So, <clears throat> back in the day, I know the upperclassmen can attest to this. All of us snobs used to sit with all the upperclassmen right the whole entire company and it was the worst all right I dreaded going into Coward Hall from for <laughs> breakfast and lunch they usually tell me crook you look like a horse jockey like, what no way no resemblance I say crook you have caterpillar eyebrows kind of see that one but I remember one day I stepped into Coward Hall. I did my whole pop-off thing. Front three inches, right? Nobody was talking to me. I just started eating. I was like, <laughs> you don't see me. I was like, real low key. So I was just doing my thing, you know, eating. I think it was breakfast. So yeah, we were eating breakfast. It was like sausage or something. And we got to the end. I was about ready to leave. And I hear out from the corner of my eyes, and he says, Crook! What now? Everything was going so great. He says, look over here. I was like, looked over. He was shaking something at me. I was like, you see this? I was like, yeah, if you stop shaking it so fast. He was shaking the sausage at me. And at this point, I was like, I don't know where this is going. It's like, I ah, stopped shaking the sausage at me. But he said, I got a mission for you. I was like, a mission? Sounds pretty cool. He said, I need you to make a delivery to my, to my roommate. It's like, I don't want to do this mission. Abort, abort. But at this point, you know, knobs be knobs. We have to do what we're told, right? Yeah. So, grabbed that sausage. I ran out the door. I did my little knobby walk around the battalion. And I got to the front salad for it, and I tried to do a little sausage tuck right here. Try to conceal the sausage. It didn't work. The people saw me, and it was like, what are you doing with the sausage? I was like, sir, I'm making the delivery, sir. He's like, get out of here, get out of here. And I don't know, if, have y'all ever played Mario Kart? You know when you, uh, you're going, you're like last place, and then you hit a mystery box, and it's the rocket? You just go, that was me. I ran through battalion, doors flew open, hair blew back. Everybody was like, oh my God, it's the flash, right? <laughs> no, but I got to his door. I was about to knock, but I had to like, I took a step back. I was like, what am I doing? Like, why, am I, why did he pick me to do this? It's like, maybe I should just quit. Maybe I should hold back. Maybe I should, he wouldn't know if I delivered the sausage or not. I could just throw it away. got this, Jesse. So I walked up, knocked on the door, took a step back, and then when he opened it, I threw the sausage right at him, hit him dead in the face. He fell back. I was like, ah, I did it. I delivered the sausage. And me thinking, well, I'm going to be famous. This is going to be great. Everybody's going to love me. That was not the case. I got ratted out a lot. But in the end, it was a lot of fun. So just all the knobs, there's going to be like moments when it's really tough, but there's also going to be moments when it's a lot of fun.